electric planes. Uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> we have a lot on our plate here. Um, but electric planes, um, yeah, I've been dying to do that for a decade. Yeah. Welcome to Next Gen Theories, where the future of urban mobility is accelerating faster than ever. Driven by cutting edge technology and bold innovation, the way we think about transportation is evolving at an incredible pace. One of the most exciting developments comes from Chinese automaker GAC, which has introduced a revolutionary flying vehicle called GOV. This marks a major milestone in hybrid transportation, seamlessly blending ground and air travel with vertical takeoff and landing capabilities. What makes GOV truly stand out is its futuristic, modular design. The vehicle can split into two parts a flight cabin, and a ground-based chassis. On the road, GOV functions like a conventional car, offering the comfort and familiarity of everyday driving. But when flight is needed, the cabin detaches and lifts off using 12 propellers arranged across six axes. This dual functionality highlights GOV's incredible versatility and its potential to reshape how we navigate urban environments. Meanwhile, the chassis serves a second role, acting as both a landing base and a mobile charging station. Once the cabin takes off, the chassis automatically drives itself to the nearest charging point. When the cabin returns, an advanced communication system ensures it docks smoothly and safely, reducing downtime and maximizing efficiency. This innovation is a true fusion of automotive and aerospace engineering, setting a new benchmark for the future of transportation. On another front, Tesla has been navigating challenges in recent months, from declining sales to ongoing supply chain issues and increasing competition in the EV space. In response, the company is turning to bold, forward-thinking solutions. In a confidential presentation to a select group, Elon Musk unveiled a lineup of futuristic prototypes, including Tesla's first flying car and even a concept for its first airplane. These ambitious projects highlight Tesla's commitment to staying at the forefront of innovation. According to insiders, Tesla's leadership was highly impressed with what was presented and has already greenlit the next phase of development. An official announcement is expected soon, offering a closer look at these game-changing vehicles, signaling the dawn of a new era in transportation. This marks an exciting new chapter in Tesla's mission to reshape the future of mobility. Meanwhile, Sony, known for its groundbreaking work in electronics, robotics, and gaming, is now setting its sights on the flying vehicle market. While the company hasn't revealed many details yet, insiders suggest that Sony is actively developing a futuristic flying car concept. The idea alone has sparked a wave of excitement. Fans, tech enthusiasts, and independent designers are already imagining what Sony's flying car might look like envisioning a sleek, aerodynamic design packed with advanced sensors, AI integration, and even augmented reality features in the cockpit. The buzz surrounding a potential Sony flying car reflects just how eager consumers are for innovative, next-gen mobility solutions. So, what do you think? Would you trust a flying car made by Sony? At the same time, China continues to lead the charge in flying car development. One standout example is the Land Aircraft Carrier by Jun Out, unveiled at CES 2025. This modular flying vehicle has already generated significant interest with over 3,000 pre-orders and deliveries expected to begin in 2026. The Land Aircraft Carrier consists of two main parts, a ground-based mothership and an aerial flight module. The ground vehicle features a three-axle, six-wheel drive system with rear-wheel steering and a compact design that fits in standard parking spots and garages, solving key urban mobility challenges. The aerial module is equally impressive. It includes six rotors, dual ducts, foldable arms, and carbon fiber blades that are lightweight yet durable. Inside, passengers enjoy a panoramic cabin offering a 270 degree view, creating a truly immersive flight experience. Users can choose between manual or autonomous flight modes, giving them flexibility based on their preferences. This modular design reflects China's commitment to cutting-edge innovation and its ability to deliver practical solutions for the growing needs of urban transportation. Adding to the list of forward-thinking projects is the Vola by British company Bellwether Industries, 
one of the most sophisticated flying vehicles in development. Designed as an electric vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL craft, Volar is aimed at private owners and introduces the bold idea of a flying hypercar. Built for two passengers seated in tandem, Volar combines sporty aesthetics with high-end functionality. Its electric propulsion system, featuring ducted fans, supports a quiet and efficient ride, blending luxury, performance, and futuristic design into one remarkable flying machine. Hidden beneath a sleek, streamlined exterior, the aircraft boasts a polished and cohesive design. Unveiled at the Dubai Air Show, the prototype showcased its ability to maintain stable flight at speeds of up to 40 km per hour. The production model is expected to be significantly faster, reaching up to 220 km per hour, with a flight time between 60 to 90 minutes. With a width of just 3.2 meters, the aircraft is compact and perfectly suited for urban environments. Volar represents the ultimate fusion of luxury, performance, and innovation. Positioning itself as a standout player in the rapidly growing market for personal flying vehicles. While big name corporations often dominate headlines, independent engineers and passionate enthusiasts around the world are making huge strides in the world of flying transportation too. Thanks to advances in accessible tech, like 3D printing, high capacity batteries, and next gen software, innovators working from home garages, small workshops, and startup labs are developing flying machines that rival those of major tech companies. Their designs range from single passenger air taxis to compact personal drones built for rapid urban transit. Some truly stand out for their efficiency, creativity, and the use of innovative propulsion systems, ultra light materials, and advanced control tech. Unlike large corporations, these creators aren't limited by traditional rules or red tape giving them the freedom to experiment with bold, radical ideas. It's a reminder that the future of aerial mobility isn't being shaped just in massive labs or corporate boardrooms. It's being forged in the minds of creative engineers all around the globe. Even Russian engineers are stepping up, introducing the S-700 unmanned air taxi developed by Transport of the Future. Designed to ease urban congestion, the S-700 aims to replace traditional ground taxis. It's built for two passengers and features a multi-copter setup with 16 propeller motor groups offering great stability, agility, and in-flight safety. The S-700 can fly at altitudes of up to 3,500 meters, though it's optimized for around 300 meters, ideal for city travel. With a top speed of 100 kilometers per hour and a range of 30 kilometers, it offers 15 to 25 minutes of autonomous flight on a single charge, making it perfect for short, efficient urban trips. But innovation isn't limited to civilian applications. Military aviation is also seeing groundbreaking advancements. Recently, leaked footage of Lockheed Martin's SR-72 hypersonic reconnaissance and strike aircraft went viral online. Developed by Lockheed's secretive skunk works division, the SR-72 nicknamed the Son of Blackbird, is the successor to the legendary SR-71. Capable of reaching hypersonic speeds over Mach 5, more than 6,000 km per hour, it's twice as fast as its predecessor. The SR-72 is designed for intelligence gathering, surveillance, and reconnaissance, with the ability to outrun advanced air defense systems and evade modern anti-aircraft weapons. But unlike the original Blackbird, the SR-72 will also carry hypersonic missiles, making it a formidable tool for both data collection and strike missions. The first demonstration flight is scheduled for 2025, with operational deployment expected in the 2030s. So, what do you think? Are we witnessing the dawn of a new era in air and urban mobility? Or will Tesla's classic electric charm continue to steal the spotlight? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next incredible video.